and or if we have a sufficient equipment and we want we want to give it to the owner we want to give it to the owner then so that the owner can take it out in the form of a draw which doesn't hit the income statement uh, and then the owner can spend it on personal needs and or invest it in something something other than the business if the business doesn't need any more cash from there such as stocks and bonds uh, and whatnot notice the income statement not impacted by by the transaction all right let's add the other one back to the first tab this one is a twenty dollar fee so i can i can check this off by the way I greenify that one and then we have this twenty dollar fee that was the bank fee so that's what we would expect to see pretty much every time i'm just going to say this came from the bank hit us with the twenty dollar fee can't you see this is the bank fee bank service charge is the one bank fee is the why and then if i say let's hit the drop down and it's got it's added this other line here i'm going to say don't do that line right there and then here's the item all right so i'm going to say let's see i'm going to save the transaction so now we've got it checked off one thing is checked off the bank feed all right so everything looks good let's reconcile it all right so now we've reconciled everything that should have recorded a transaction once again to the balance sheet on the checking account if we up to date if we up to date the report uh and then check it out we can drill down on the checking leave because i have made a summary report and then we should see a 20 dollar $20 decrease Feb 28 once again Feb 28 everything happens on Feb 28 there it is the spend money form other side going to the bank service charge back to the balance sheet tab into the right updating over here we then see the bank service charge we should have down here there's the $20 on the income statement so that has been recorded on the first tab now nothing is in the reconciliation because we've reconciled everything that has a bank transaction to it that means that everything that was in the banking side of things which we pulled in which should match everything on the bank statement this is greenified by the way uh should be should be done so we've basically greenified this boom and this bam so there's that everything over here should be uh reconciled don't mind these we deleted those you'll recall uh because i had that was a prior month issue because everything on the bank statement should be reconciled everything on the accounting side of things however isn't necessarily reconciled what isn't reconciled if it had been written in february before the cutoff or january sometime before february 28 then would be our outstanding items so these things are what is going to construct our uh, bank reconciliation there's kind of a lot of them for the items that have not yet cleared all right so that's what we expect to happen so if i go to my bank uh my bank rec over here this is the january bank rec no change to the january bank rec it should still be good uh to go still ties out we're on the february bank rec let's go ahead and update the feb rec and you can see now that now we have the uh balance that ties out to the february balance sheet boom uh 925906 the outstanding payments and the outstanding receipts calculating to the 101590.05 which matches the ending balance we can see here as well as here we'll talk about that more in a future presentation possibly we'll dive into the statement a little bit more but you can see the outstanding payments here and then uh the outstanding receipts okay we might touch on this bank report a little bit more later we're running short on time so let's duplicate a tab let's put some trial balance uh take a look at a trial balance because we have made a couple entries so we're going to say reports and trial balance trial balance and we will check out the trustee trial bal trial balance as of custom date i'll just take it to the end of 2023 just to make it easy and this is what we have here so if your numbers tie out great if not and you tied out before if you were on before you're off this time we made a change 
to the bank account for this $20 transaction and the draw of the 500 and the bank fees. And then down here, we made an adjustment to the income statement for the bank service charge. And we made a change to the owner draws account. So you would think those would be the ones affected. If it's a date issue, try expanding the date range, drill down on the numbers and the, to the source documents and possibly change the date if you need to.